Hey guys, good afternoon. Uh, if you could hear it in my voice uh, and you watched yesterday's recap, uh, it has gotten worse. So I'm feeling much worse than yesterday, but uh, I wanted to follow up and give a recap of. Uh, I posted a bunch of Forex trades in the room today, and I wanted to highlight why uh, I took each. One was the Euro Pounds, was a carryover from last week. I held that for about uh, like three days, um, so pretty, you know, midterm hold there. Uh, I scalped a bit on the Euro Yen today. I've uh, got one position established and another one that I've already taken off. Uh, the one that I've taken off is for Nadex, the other is Spot. Uh, but I wanted to quickly highlight why I took what I did. So let's start with the Euro Pounds. Uh, if you notice, we're in a really nice channel. It's been you know, kind of a jumping off point ever since testing this gap fill here. And it just absolutely took off, kind of created that channel topper and dipped right back down. So that was kind of the formulation of my, my channel here uh, as it kind of ping pongs between lots of support and worked its way up. Uh, we got a nice four hour pullback on that run up and then kind of formed another nice little low here so I ended up getting long right around here and I held uh, I had my stop loss initially down low uh, below uh, right in this demand zone right here and I just pulled it up to just underneath the 61.8 as we came down and tested those levels again then we had another test here and then finally we got the jumping off point to where I really wanted to take it um, I took it off here to be safe uh, I took it off at this resistance right here. Uh, obviously, I could have held for a little bit longer, but uh, with me kind of feeling the way I am, I, I didn't really want to manage or give anything back. I uh, wasn't sure how much chart time I'd have today, so I wanted to get out before we were testing this zone up here. Uh, I didn't want to try and take it all the way to the 50%. You can see we were front run by just a, a couple of pips there. Uh, so I ended up running that one for just over a thousand dollars a hundred pip trade uh, not bad not great um, so nice hundred pip trade uh, on a standard lot uh, decent movement uh, was happy with the length of hold was happy with the management uh, now let's swing over to the euro pounds uh, the euro pounds similar setup uh, if you take a look at the daily what we've got is we've got a nice cross uh, using this different anchors but the same establishment point here on this on these uh, kind of channel top or trend lines and then that massive run up uh, if we come down to the four hour well, actually first let's highlight that we're, we're sitting right in the middle of a beautiful uh, I grab that beautiful weekly uh, demand or excuse me supply zone my head's all foggy right now we're sitting in the, in the middle of a beautiful weekly supply zone and uh, we've just got some great movement to push right into that level. So I was looking for some quick opportunities here uh, as we kind of tested, because you know this is the, the larger term slowdown started to happen right at the negative 23.6. So if we could see some bears, which we did on the shorter time frame off of this level, and then a nice spike up, my plan was to get short at the test of the, the high on the... Um, of that supply zone there. Now, <clears throat> one thing that I went over recently in the Forex structure course, uh, once I'm feeling a little bit better, I'll have some videos finalized around it for content, was uh, this fib sequence here. Um, so I took that last dip down as my anchor. I ran it up. You can see that we held that 50% pullback perfectly. So where's our profit target? It's up to the negative 23.6. So we ran straight up there. I ended up grabbing a Nadex in the buddy. Uh, up above, uh, not much up above, but up above, and I also uh, grabbed the spot position right at the top, uh, so you could see that the spot position, quick 37 pips off of that, um, and the Nadex position, uh, I got short 127.39 for a two-hour expi uh, expiry, uh, so it was actually right around here. It was more at the money, but price was moving quickly, so I wasn't able to get it with you know the 50 uh, with the 45 to 50 risk that I would have liked, 
but it's still went into profit rather quickly and it's still uh, you know I have very minimal drawdown and I was able to take those contracts off almost instantaneously as we just dove right off of that level so you could see we tagged that high and then uh, we had a nice bear run right off of it and this is a four hour chart so for Nadex purposes that's that's more than a, a substantial move right there um, that's really uh, all I wanted to cover um, more than happy to go over anything else but uh, for the time being hope you guys finish up the, the day strong and uh, I will be around chat if there's any other questions